the new zoo right now. This time, Neil is taking us inside the animal hospital. Hi, Neil. Well, good morning, guys. We're here in the animal hospital, and we've got a procedure going on. I'm here with Dr. Tracy Gilbert and her crew. And, Doc, what do we got going on this morning? Well, good morning. We have a, a young female pintail duck here that's just going under anesthesia. Um, Carmen's asked us to do a pinioning procedure on this little duck because she wants to fly and she has a tendency to fly and get into the eagle's part of the exhibit and that's pretty dangerous for her because the eagle loves a duck dinner. So we're going to try to limit her mobility and her, her attempts at flying by removing the very end portion of the wing here. And the way we do that is with general anesthesia. So at this point, we've weighed this little girl and we've given her two kinds of medication for pain and to keep her comfortable. And now we're giving a gas anesthesia through these lines here. And of course, we have a monitor listening to her heartbeat all the time to make sure that she's going under anesthesia and that everything is going well. And in a moment, we're going to put a, a local anesthetic all the way around this joint here and then we're going to surgically go in and just remove the very end of the wing with the long flight feathers that are attached to that. And then that'll be sewed up, closed, and she'll continue to take some pain medications for several days. And then once she's feeling back to herself, she can go back to her exhibit. As you can see, guys, this is an uh, is, uh, interesting procedure and a procedure that, uh, especially for the welfare of uh, this particular waterfall out there in the exhibit, uh, is something that is certainly needed. Uh, the other thing that uh, Doc will be looking at doing too is then we will be banding uh, this particular waterfall so that all our um, all our waterfall and really all our animals have uh, ID numbers that are associated with their medical records. But the band will be on, on the legs so that the zookeepers can uh, properly identify uh, that particular individual out there for any medical or behavioral records. And also they'll receive a microchip so to make sure that we're working on the, the right particular individual on that. But you see uh, Doc's going to work. And uh, with that, back to you guys.